Hello, and thanks for checking out our Gung Ho Classic series. Today we are going to be helping you through the introduction of favorite deer, Junpaku no Yogensha. Then we are going to cover some of the basic menus and head into battle. The title itself, Junpaku no Yogensha, literally translates to the pure white prophet. As you can see here, the starting menus and options are actually all in English, so we can go ahead and dive right in. The screen right here lets you choose your name, gender, and date of birth. Here they're asking if you want to load data from favorite deer, but since I don't have any, I'm going to skip it. Okay, so this part's pretty neat because they actually give you a four question, it's kind of like a personality test, where it determines based on your answers what fairy you end up with. I'm going to be totally honest, so let's see who I end up with. Once we finish here, Raphael will explain the main plot. Basically, he believes that a fallen angel is responsible for all of the chaos and turmoil going on on the earth right now. Since you can't interact with humans directly, you'll need to make use of fairies and special heroes called Braves in order to bring peace to the realm and stop the renegade angel. So based on my answers, it looks like Florinda will be my first fairy. If you choose the option on the top right here, she'll actually give you some information about each of the different areas. You can bring up this menu on the world map by pressing X. Right now, I've only got one fairy to choose from, so I'm going to go ahead and select Florinda, and this brings up the fairy menu. I can go ahead and send her on a mission right now. I just need to choose a region for her to explore and hope she finds a brave. Now let's head up to heaven and go over all the basic menus there. Our handy little menu translations are pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and go to a different place in heaven. So here are the five choices. Uh, if you actually try to go somewhere next, Raphael is not going to be too happy with you because you haven't finished the task in the current zone. If we go to visit Florine, we can check out her selection of equipment. Amelia has consumable items like potions. Vota will let us recruit more fairies who can help us find more braves. Returning to your room will bring you back to the previous menu. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the player stats window. A lot of the stats will be familiar to RPG players. I'll go ahead and explain the ones that are a little tricky. From top to bottom, we have Hero, or Brave, then Fairy, and finally Angel, which would be your own stats. Right now, I've only got one Brave, so let's look at Seishia. So HP, Attack, and Defense are all self-explanatory. Agility refers to how quickly they'll attack the enemies, um, more like how often they will uh, have their own turn. Trust refers to how much the Brave trusts you. This will increase the more you interact with this particular character. The Justice level is actually how much ground they can cover, so it's how far they can travel when you give them a mission. Finally, the Stress level is, uh, well, it's just what it sounds like. You're stressing out your character. So if this gets too high, they might actually abandon you and head back where they came from. Well, now that we've seen how Seishia is doing, let's take a look at our fairy Florinda. Magic indicates how powerful her spells will be. Search indicates how successful she'll be when you send her exploring. The purple bar on the right indicates how well she gets along with the hero Seishia. Managing the stress and relationship bars can be pretty tricky because stress increases if you make a fairy work with someone they don't like, but at the same time, their relationship will improve if you send them out together more often. And finally, we have the stats for your angel, which are, well, they're in English and pretty self-explanatory. Uh, as you can see, I've got a uh, pretty low AP compared to my total, so I'm going to have to rest to bring it back. Now I'll go ahead and take you through the basic gameplay really quick. First you select your fairy menu, and choose the region you want to send them to, and you can basically have all the people you've hired go out and check different regions, and they'll find things like uh, incidents or heroes. Now first thing we need is for them to find some heroes for us to use. Uh, as you saw earlier, I've already found Satia but I'm going to go ahead and show you how that whole process works. So as the hourglass turns and you can see the day-night cycle progressing, your fairies are out doing their searches or whatever tasks you put them to. And right now, it looks like Akira has found a hero for me. So let's go check that out. Once a fairy has found one of the braves, the brave menu that was blacked out earlier will actually be available. So, since Aquila just found Seishia, let's check her out. So, this is Seishia, and apparently our first meeting hasn't gone so well. 
But uh, after you interact with her some more and make some selections, she might trust you enough to let you follow her and send her on missions. Once you have full access to one of the Braves, you'll notice their sprite appears on the world map. And when you go to select them in the hero menu, you can actually see their picture there as well. So it gives you the choice, uh, do you want to chat with her? And uh, brings up this little dialogue menu right here. Through these dialogue interactions, you can build up a relationship and eventually get them to trust you so you can send them out on missions. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cheat a little bit and fast forward to a time when she already trusts me and wants to help. Once you choose a location to scout, she'll head over there and fight monsters along the way. While your hero may fight automatically, you can bring up a menu to help them by pressing X. Now I'm going to explain each of the different help options you can give them. This first option will let you escape from battle. The next option is a minor heal. This last option is an angelic buff that will motivate the hero to use skills more often. The different fairies will have different abilities they can use to help the braves fight. The battle will continue automatically and you can issue commands as needed by interrupting with the X button. And with that, we've explained the basic gameplay cycle. Manage supplies and equipment, send your fairies exploring, send your braves questing, and save each region as you uncover the Fallen Angel's evil plot. We hope you enjoyed Favorite Deer, Junpaku no Yogensha, and that you check out our other imported classics, now available for download on the PSN.